for you. You know, what I'm doing here, I'm gonna cook me some chicken. Um, you see right here, it's the chicken right here. I already seasoned it. Already seasoned it and marinated. I put some Italian pepper, some parsley, some paprika, so, some um, chopped onion, onion, a little bit of garlic pepper, um, also some oil in there. Um, I put a little moonshine in it to get in some wine to get the little flavor uh, taste in it. So I'm about to put that in there now. So here you go. I'm gonna show you what I do. And see, I got some cabbage right here that I already cut up. So I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna fry me some cabbage. Have a little bit of moonshine sitting right here. Gotta get some more moonshine. And hold on, let me open this. So like I said, this is 100% moonshine from, from the Carolinas. And see so what I like to do is just put a little bit on the chicken. Just a little bit on the chicken, you know. And stuff. So I take the moonshine, put a little bit on the chicken. Alright. Got, got three jars here left. And see I got some wine right here. Some good old wine. So, and I like to take this wine and put a little wine on it. Just, just like that. Though. Just like that. That's all. You know. Some good, 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 good wine. It's, uh, it's. Now it's doesn't matter what type of wine. It's whatever wine that you like okay whatever line you like so what I'm gonna do I take this and I just stir it like this right here you know get all the juices and stuff just knowing it the stuff you know let the, let the wine and the moonshine mix all in it and you season it up real good and stuff you see what I'm saying now, there's two things I can do with this. I can bake this. I can put it on the grill. It's whatever I want to do with this. You know? Now, if it's, it's kind of chilly today. Now, I would leave this, I would leave this in this pan and put it on and put a cover on it and just cook it on the grill like this you know put a little you know a little fire get up to about 300 degrees and just cook it on the grill and just turn it oh i would put it in the oven but you know we get our trusty old fryer over here so what we're gonna do we're gonna put it up in this fryer so i got my little my little things right here my pan, no matter what, you always put that pan in the bottom there. And something missing. Something missing, y'all, because I got two of these. dishes y'all see I gotta wash some dishes well you even gonna use this I don't really sudden use that now what I do is I get my sticking grease my, my pan sticking grease right here and you know I gotta clean this anyway I just do this right here real good I just do that real good coat it real good coat it you know coat it real good Just coat it real good. 
All right? Now, I coat it real good. Once I coat it real good, I get my chicken. Put my chicken on. See how much you can put on. You probably could put this four, four on it. That's three. You can put four on. You see right there. And you take it and we put it in. Put it in there. So we gotta clean up. Then we take this. And once again, you probably want to go ahead and. Turn it over like this again. Get all the juices in it. Like I say, it's a way with seasoning you do. Cause it, you know, so I got all my seasoning right here. I keep I keep seasoning. And so now you know I get my parsley, my dot, my Italian pepper, my pigarica, you know, some pepper, my chop, I get chopped onion and stuff and all that. You know. Uh, some garlic pepper and stuff like that. I just use that. You know, I don't try to use nothing real salty because let me know I'm in that high blood pressure. And so you put that right there. It look real nice. It look real nice. Put that there. And you see, I'm turning over the right way because you want it to cook evenly. Okay. Got your hands. All right, turn that around and kind of put that right up there. All right, so you got your chicken right up in there. Now, what we're gonna do is close the close the door and push it out and push it. This is my little ice maker right here, y'all. Push it out, you know, because you want a little, you want air to hit it. Now you see they got the little different uh things you could turn it on, right? So what we have to do, look at chicken with that. So we cut it on, we hit chicken. And it cuts on for 40 minutes. Now, what I do on the temperature wise, I cuss it down to 320. The reason why I do that, I don't want to cook fast. I want to cook real slow, you know, real slow. I want all the flavor to get in. Now, that air fryer right here is good because it's going to take all the throw the fat out of it and put it in the pan right there. So what we're gonna do for 40 minutes, we're gonna, we're gonna come back in probably 20 minutes. And matter of fact, better yet, let's do this. Let's put it down to 310. Um, we're gonna check the chicken out and see how it is. Check the chicken. Is that a chicken looking? It's coming out. It's coming pretty good. It's coming pretty good. That's how you want to do it. Now you can flip it over if you want to. Um, you really don't have to flip it over. Uh, you really don't have to flip it over because the air fry and everything is even. So see how it's looking on the bottom there? See, it's looking real good. It's cooking real, real, real good. See, I said, see how it look? It's cooking real good. It's on 28 minutes. Cooking real good. And we might end up having to do it a little, little longer because we did turn the, the temperature down. So, you see the grease on the bottom down there? See, that's, that's, that's healthy. They take all the fats. All the fats and stuff out of it. 
And that's what we want. That's what we want. So you close it back up and then start up again. Now there's another air fryer I love to get too, but I'm not gonna get it because the simple fact is, uh, you see my counter space? Don't have much counter space. So if I had my house, you know, um, I'll be doing it. So hopefully I get my truck, hopefully I get my truck sometime this month or next month, my 18 wheeler, and then I could um, work on getting me a house. So I'm cooking some dinner. So I got the cabbage here. So I'm gonna cut up the sauces and stuff like that there. I had to put it in here because I wanted it to cook a little bit. So basically what I'm gonna do is uh, cut up the sauces. Put that over here. Cut up the sauces and stuff. And so I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the pan, I'm gonna take this pan right here. And I'm gonna put it on a little bit of medium. Because I wanted to get, I wanted to get hot. I want to get hot. Once it once it get hot, then I'm gonna put the bacon in it. Once I put the bacon in it, and I'm sorry you hear this noise. I'm, I'm washing clothes. So, uh, who that coming up here? Wash, want to wash me some clothes and stuff like that there so uh, once I do all that we're gonna see what's up and stuff okay okay y'all here we go now I hope you can see the pan yeah, you can see the pan so what I'm gonna do is I get the bacon I get the bacon, I tear the, and I tear the, kind of tear the bacon up. Just tear, just tear the bacon up, you know? That's what I do, just tear the bacon up. Put it in the pan. Tear it up, put it in the pan. Just tear it up. Just put it in the pan so it can fry, so it can get that, uh, that bacon water stuff coming in this stuff so I got this so I'm gonna go ahead and use all this bacon up Bacon right here. So the bacon, you know, let's do that. So the bacon start cooking. I don't have to do that, you know. I just take all the franks, all the sauces, and just put it in there. I should have used my, my head camera so I could do it better. So the franks and the sauces, put everything in there. Let that fry, let that, let that cook. Let the sauces and stuff cook a little bit. Now, now, you can use this celery seeds. You can do celery seeds. And put a little bit, you know, put a little bit of that just to, just to, just, no, just to cover it. A little bit of celery seeds in it. Now I have some ginger. I would, I would, uh, put some ginger in, put some ginger in it. And this right here is onions, onion powder. Put a little onion powder in it. That's all you need. That's all. And just stir it up. Stir it up. Let it cook. 
Let it cook. Now you don't want to cook it all. Of, you don't want to cook all this meat all the way, okay? You just want to cook it for some. Take it out, and then you can go ahead and put the you can go ahead and put the uh the cabbage in. Now you see what I just drew you what I did. I took the meat out of it. Let it cook for some, you won't let it cook all the way. And I went ahead and start putting the cabbage in. Now what I get, I season my cabbage up. Pepper. Pepper. There we go. So I try to put it evenly. Oh, let's make sure when I stir it, did it get all the way through? Parsley. And the mouth you put in is wherever you put in. Italian pepper. Little bit of season salt, not much. Little bit. This is garlic pepper. Little bit of this. That's not open. I uh, got five one open. Uh. Well, garlic pepper right here. Yeah. A little bit, not much. A little bit. And you just take it, stir it, you know. Take it and stir it. Started looking, started, started, started seasoning, going all through the cabbage. So all through the cabbage. Then the meat will cook. So we take the thing and stir it. It's hard to hold the camera in one hand and uh, try to stir it with another one. I apologize to y'all that I, I'm not doing it right. Now I gotta turn it down, turn it down to reach low. They want to cook too fast. They burn it. All right. All right. <sighs> now, this what you can do. To keep it from burning a little bit, you can get a little water. Just a little water. Put it in. 
A little water, not much. It's a little water. And what I do, when I do, I'm going to wash that. I take the thing, because I don't have a part big enough, and it's covered. Turn it on the low, and you cook it. Uh, I'll usually cook it for 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes, and uh, keep stirring it, keep stirring it, and um, and they get ready. Once you get like once you get a little brownish a little bit, it's cooked. It's clean. You know. Clean cooking, healthy cooking, real healthy. So we're looking at our chicken right here. Let's see our chicken. The chicken turned out pretty good. Nine more minutes for that. So once that get done, we're gonna check it out, see how it is. I'm showing you the chicken. This is the chicken. The top one cook a little harder. See that the chicken right here. Now I want to dip it ready. So we we're gonna check the bottom up with the, with the bottom done. We know the top one done. So we're gonna. Head up the sea. Mm. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we can, we can cook it a little longer. We can cook it a little longer. And um, it should be it should be cook it another couple of minutes, and it should be ready. That, put, that, put that back up in here. You see how it turned out to be? All the fatty stuff right there. I'm going to put this up top. I'm going to put that up top. And what I had up top, put it on the bottom. Okay. Close that. Put it back on. Put it back on the ch on the chicken. We're gonna cut it down to say 300. And I'm gonna put the timer on. Ten more minutes. So let's go, we're going to go over here and we're going to look at our cabbage. Oh yes, it look good. Look how it look. Look how it look, baby. It's coming out perfect. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Almost done too. This come out perfect. Oh, look at that, all that, all that season. Smell that good flavor. Oh, man. It's real good. Got another, another couple of minutes. We're gonna let that, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna let that finish cutting, cooking, and I'll come back to you. Okay, everybody, here it goes. The cabbage. Set the light on. The chicken. Here's Madonna right here. Here's Madonna with a nice drink. Look at that side. It was raining. Couldn't put nothing on the grill today, but. Yeah, so the chicken here. Taste the chicken. See how it tastes. <sighs> Gotta blow it, it's hot. It's good. I 
could have put a little more seasoning in it because I didn't let it marinate. So, but it still is good. Check the cabbage. See the cabbage right here? Yeah. Southern fried cabbage with chicken cook on the air fryer. So y'all asked me to do some cooking. I didn't do it like I wanted. You know, I didn't do it like I wanted. I should have put my head thing on so you could see. But I hope y'all forgive me for that, but we'll get better at it. So I'm gonna eat my food here. Hope you like it. More videos gonna come, baby. More videos gonna come. Peace.